And I am going live with a jewelry jar opening. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a minute. Um, hope everyone is doing well. Again, I have these saved up. I'm running very, very low. So I think we are going to take a trip out of the city to go to other cities nearby, possibly another state, and see if we can find any jewelry jars as of right now. This is what I have. Um... I don't remember how much I paid, but I believe roughly around $40 uh, for this. So they are not cheap here. When you do find them, um, they are not cheap. They still sell them at some places, but they're just basically what didn't sell in their store. So they're a waste of money. And like I said, I used to only buy these. Hello, Martha. Martha. I used to only buy these to sit by myself and relax and unwind and, and open these with like on a, a holiday I was alone or a rough week I would open it that weekend just for something to do. But I like opening them with you guys now. So I really take these. So we'll get started. I don't have my uh, magnet course but I did buy two more of these because I couldn't find my other one um I think I have a magnet of some sort up here so. oops <clears throat> all right we'll get started first thing we got a a tangle um this is just a plastic beaded bracelet that will go into a bead lot. I do have a girl who buys um, like the junk, junkier stuff that I don't keep or sell. Um, she uses it to make jewelry. So I just make a big pile for her and she buys that for jewelry making. This would be, this has some good beads. But overall, it's very tarnished, so put that in her pile. So we have some random... Oh, we got some earrings. Okay. These are pretty. I don't think they're silver or anything. Um, I would probably try to sell those at the garage sale and then whatever doesn't sell at the garage sale I will usually this is just junky stuff two good beads on it though um I just sell all at once if there's stuff left but usually my stuff always sells at the garage sale um there's always somebody who wants to buy it all and we make a deal and they buy it all so I don't know what these are. If they're anklets, there's a couple of them. And they have weird... This... Oh, you know what I wonder? I wonder if maybe somebody made these into cat necklaces or something. I don't know. Or they're anklets because they're really big. This is really pretty. This is not marked, but really pretty. My hands are chapped. It's so cold. Well, actually, today wasn't that cold. Um, here's some more earrings. These I would probably donate to the prom stuff. This is a very cool earring. I think it's an earring. It's almost like a lucite 
amber. This may be silver, but I'm not sure. So we'll put that in the look at later pile, double check pile. <laughs> uh, this, this is cool. This has me, some really neat beaded beads and a cool looking clasp. I don't see any metal markings or anything, but that's actually pretty. So we'll put that in the, and I know somebody yelled last time, or you're throwing the jewelry. I promise none of it is getting hurt. I promise. Um, no jewelry will be hurt in the making of this video. This is Sarah Coventry. Kind of reminds me of a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> um, we have these earrings. These look kind of even too crappy to donate. Probably doesn't come off so bad in the video, but they're pretty rough. So we'll put that in the jewelry person's pile. We got these, which I believe are sterling. Yeah, these are sterling. With, I don't know what the name of that stone is. Okay, let's, let's make a, a separate pile. There we go. We can do that. We can see stuff. Oh, these have matching earrings. We got that's a dog. I thought it was a cat. It says Roger 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 Karras. They make our lives whole, Roger Karras. Dogs are not dogs are not our whole life, but they make our lives whole. We'll be keeping that one. Uh, this is made in Korea. Vintage puffy heart necklace. I would probably sell at the garage sale, possibly. We have a tangle, of course. We have an earring tangled in there. This is not marked. It is pretty. It'll be good for crafting. This is the other earring to the junky one. This is a gold. <laughs> this thing is so bright gold. My goodness. It is definitely not real. I'm just seeing if it's marked like silver or anything. This thing is gold. Put it in the garage sale, 50 cents. I'll have jewelry that's like 50 cents, some a dollar. I'd like to do um, like a flea market type thing where I could sell it for more. All right. This I really like. This is so pretty. It's like bubblegum pink bubbles. It's so cool. I love the way the little clasp is. And no markings that I can see, but I might keep this because I kind of really, I really like the way that looks. But I put things I'm going to keep to the side and then I go through and then I'm like, no, this is the other earring to the one I showed. This is sterling it has a sterling silver chain with a sterling silver horse that's really pretty here's the other earring uh these again are super super yucky so we'll put those in her beadlot um, 
she could still use the beads. This says sterling. Odd. This says sterling. What do we got sterling up here? There we go. Silver's over there. This is just a generic Claire special. We'll put that in the garage sale stuff. Somebody might want it. Here's the other earring to this. These are so, I hope there's like a necklace that matches. Can you see? Like, they're so cool looking. This, what is this? KJL. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. This is KJL, which is Kenneth J. Lane. Let's say 2009. This is this big beaded guy. That's really nice. That's something I would sell or, um, what do you call it? Consign. These are, I think these are, I don't know, are these glass or metal? I think they're glass. These are feel heavy, so we put those there for now. Got some crystals. I don't know what these are called. I always call them jam. This is by Coro. I think I'm saying it right with the jam. But this is really, really pretty. Again, I would sell that or consign. We got, let's see. Sorry, I can't bend that way, so I have to look at it first and then, okay. So this is a Y necklace with some beads and silver pieces. It's not marked anything. Um, so I will probably just put this in my garage sale pile. This is a charm. It is marked Avon. It's actually really pretty. I would sell that as well. This is just, it's again, got some serious fading. Hello, Lady Sings the Blues. Has some serious fading. The beads are nice. I don't know. Maybe try it in my garage sale and then if nobody wants it, um, give it to the bead girl, if you will. These are sterling, but I don't know what that is. This is supposed to look like, uh, what I just sold the perfume the other day, um, Von Cleef. I don't see any, oh, there it is. This is actually really pretty. Um, it is broken, but an easy fix. This one, I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep this or not either way i'd use these for a craft that i am working on this is really pretty this is really really pretty i really like this a lot this is not marked anything but it's this gold and beaded long necklace with this piece of agate i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's gold dipped. But that's actually a really pretty piece. This, I'd say, is so far one of the nicer pieces other than the KJL that I've found in this jar so far. But we've just opened it, so who knows? Maybe there's surprises. Maybe there's not. Um, we got this pretty little pearl necklace. 
this isn't marked anything. Probably Claire's for that. This is Sterling. And it is this pink stone, really pretty. It's a little bent. Oh, I, I don't want to bend it too much. Um, with this red stone. Nine two five. I don't know a lot about the stones yet, but I was actually just talking to my husband about possibly going back to school to learn jewelry. Um, and he was all for it. So I know there's some online courses I can do um, just to get a better feel of it because I am always out and about. It'd be nice to know more about what I'm looking at. This is pretty. This is a long necklace. Again, some sort of stone or glass. I'm not really sure, but it is nice. This is, I think, glass. <laughs> um, let's see. It's handmade. I'm not sure what stone. And then it has what I'm guessing is coral and dyed howlite or I'm not sure that's really cool because it has the white I really like that so yeah I'm not sure what this one is <clears throat> this is just a homemade earring put that in her bead lot. These are actually really pretty. Wood and something. We have, here's the other earring. Ah, uh, this stretchy bracelet. Is this this isn't sterling. Oh, it's missing one. So that's okay because I had, I would probably just use these for crafts. Um, this piece is cool. Clip it. With the multi-tiered. That's actually really pretty. I'd have to try this on. I try not to keep too much costume jewelry. Because I have my favorites. Like I have to start. I have to go through. Ooh, I like these. I have to go through my silver. Because I have way, way, way too much. And I know I'm not going to wear it. Um, these are nice and big. Perfect for me. We have these earrings. So fun. But yeah, these are huge. I love these. I love big earrings. So, so far I'm keeping two items. <laughs> That's not bad. Um, oh, this is Disney. It is a Disney J. I don't think I have any any J's, especially a female. This is, this is so cute with the little Mickey ears. J, J, J. Hmm. I have to think on that one. Oh, we got another J. This one's not, uh, that's a mood, mood ring J. I don't, I'm trying to think, do I have any J's? I don't think I do. We got this necklace. Not any girl J's or little boy J's. And I'm probably missing somebody. I just can't, <laughs> I just can't think. 
Um, I actually went out today and I got some amazing scores. I just posted one of the things that I found on my TikTok reels and on my um, Instagram. I'll be putting it on here after this video. But I also found a ton of, what is it, uh, Silpata Sterling today. So this is Sterling. It says Anson, Anson Sterling. And it's marked right here. Anson Sterling, it says. I have not heard of that. This is also marked 925. And it matches. I wonder if it matches those beads. Hello, Juanita. I didn't see your... Uh, I didn't see you popped up. Your package is going out in the morning. Yeah. So this one is marked 925. Got an earring that is not marked anything. So that's just a, a junk one. These are nice. These are crystal. I think there's a bunch of these. Um, so I think it's rose quartz, and I'm not sure what the... Blue one is. Let's see if they're marked. The little beads are marked sterling. No, the beads aren't sterling. But these are definitely something. <laughs> like I said, I need to take a class. I need to start watching more videos and learning um, what these stones and that are. There's just so many. These are really pretty. These I like. These might be a tad too small for me. Um. But I really like the gold and the tortoise shell look. We'll see. We'll try. I'm going to guarantee they're probably too small. But this is just, you know, one of them prefab uh, charm bracelets. This is... This looks sterling. But then I don't think it is. This must be... I don't know. Oh, maybe it's a choker. I was like, it would be awful big for a... It'd be awful big for a... Anklet, but... This isn't marked. I missed last week's, and I'm very sorry. Um, things came up. This is Mark 925 China. Just a little eye. Probably this, too. I'll probably take that off of this. Uh, this is an earring. With the lonely earrings there. I did go to an estate sale for the first time in a long time this weekend. Um, I actually went to two of them. So I'm going to do a separate, I'll probably do a live haul for that. Um, cause that'll probably be fun. This is Chico's. have a tangle here. Let me see if I can untangle this. <clears throat> Is anyone watching? Do you guys do jewelry jars? Do you just watch other people do jewelry jars? Like what's the... Um, best thing you've ever found or saw someone find this is by the limited oh. 
This is a bit tarnished as well, so I probably, this can't be salvaged. I mean, she could salvage the pizza pieces, but it's not wearable. Yeah, these earrings, so far just one, so we're going to put all the mismatched guys there. This is, again, just, wait, looking to see if it has a end to it, but I don't see one. I think it's just, it looks like it's already starting to change colors in certain spots. I have to say, this one has... Um, so we got something that's marked. Let's see. It's probably gold filled, but look. Yep, this is gold filled. Looks like garnet, bohemian garnet. I think that's really pretty. I actually got a garnet piece last, earrings last time. I wonder if they match. But it is marked gold filled. So I have some other bohemian garnet. I don't know if those are small enough. It might just be regular garnet um, that I could put it with. I don't know if the difference is because of size with the bohemian garnet. <clears throat> this is sterling 925 with that floating... Rhinestone. Uh, this is not marked. This is just a long necklace with the cute little dangly thing. Perfect for the garage sale or for taking to, uh, consignment. This is Bronze Italy dia, Diadema. Dia, diadema. Diadema. And this bronzy rose gold, gold color. That's really pretty. I have a bunch of those. I have some in silver. Some in bronze. Um, this is fun. bracelet nothing nothing crazy this is this is pretty sometimes I can't tell if something's like Kate Spade or not it like there's so many people that knock it off too so you, you don't know if it's in, I don't think they're marked uh, that oh my stomach is Growlin. This is this is not marked anything and it's broken. I thought it was two pieces, but it is one. So I will just add that to her pile. <clears throat> this is marked sterling. That would actually make a nice necklace piece opposed to an earring. These are really yucky. So we won't keep those. And we have a little beaded bracelet that we'll put in there for her. We have, I found a pair just like these. They were a little sparklier, and they were um, 14 karat white gold. These aren't marked, but they're very pretty. They're clip-on earring. <clears throat> Some sort of quartz, I'm guessing. Oh, this is a pin. Oof, this is... 
This is sterling. It's marked Mexico 925 with a registered mark EFS. And it is an F. It must have been the kids that they had. I don't think anyone is an F with, you know, you'd have to find the exact right buyer. So this would probably go to scrap, unfortunately. Um, I think finding the right buyer on that one could take years. <laughs> Uh, this is just a little earring, fake diamond, little red hoop, little stud. This is really pretty. This has $10 on it from a garage sale or some sort of sale. This, I don't know what this is. Um, to me, it looks sterling. It looks very old. And this is the charm pendant. I don't know if that's Masonic or... I have no idea. That looks like a wind or a fan up there. I don't know. That's pretty weird. I'll have to have that looked at. <clears throat> All right. I did a quick sip of my drink. Oh, this is super long. Um, let it go. Let it go. This, I'm thinking, is a belt, or it could be a really long necklace. It looks old enough. Um, it looks... Let me back up as far as I can. All rhinestones. All the rhinestones are there. Some of them are black. Um... <clears throat> And then it has, I don't know, that end. It's very long. Could definitely be a belt or a really long necklace. That's very pretty. We got these, which are not marked, but they're very pretty. This is not marked. This is tangled. We'll come back. We'll come back to that. Uh, this is tangled as well. So, hi, lots of tangles. This necklace. These two are both pretty worn, so I'm not going to go ahead and untangle those. We're just going to throw those in there. If This is an earring. This, okay, I like this. That is really neat. That looks like a piece of art. I like that. That one I'll keep. If we have the other one, hopefully. <laughs> That's the main thing. All right, we got a little, a little angel. Oh, those are actually earrings. I've never seen the earrings like that. I always see the, um, here's the other earring to those. I always see those as pins, never as earrings. We got this. This one. This. It's gross. Ugh. This is corroded and stuff. It's probably real, but... I don't know. A little hoop earring. Oh, good. This earring is in here. Really, really like these. Those are so fun.
standing right in front of my light. Okay. All right, so we have this earring. Now, that's actually a real flower in there with a real piece of lace. This is just a vintage silver chain necklace. Nice and heavy. I'll put this to the side too. Well, put it there to put on a heavy, a nice charm on that. This is tangled, of course. We have a, I'm confused. This on a necklace. This is a, a knife. One second. A knife marked DYC on a really long chain with a clasp. And this that says <sighs> I don't know if that's English. I, yeah, I don't know what that means. Anyone have any ideas? I have no clue. Um, yeah, just a little pocket knife on a chain with that. I think, I think this might be gold filled, the chain. See some markings, but they're so worn, I can't tell. So I'll have to research that further. Even with looking through my loop, there's just nothing to see. It's so worn. Oh, we got this earring. We got these. I give my daughter all these cute little earrings. Little turtle. There's the other little turtle. It's just junk. This, I don't know what this is. Um, I am not sure if that's an earring. I guess it could be. I've never seen one with such a big backing. This is just a cute little pink necklace with the rhinestones. Not marked anything, but good for garage sale. <clears throat> oh, this is... This is Tangled. So I'm going to try to untangle it as quickly as possible. Hi, Kathy. I'm doing great. Glad you could finally catch me. How are you? All right, so we got... This is Sterling. Filthy. It doesn't look too kinked up. But definitely dirty needs to be cleaned. Um, this guy is marked something. And it is marked... Okay, it's not marked. <laughs> it just had a weird clasp. But that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's not marked. I thought it was going to be marked because, like gold filled or something, because of this, the way that looks. But I didn't see any markings on it. I will double check, but I do like that. It looks gold. Definitely throw that on with your 
real stuff and no one would know. This is neat. This is really neat. Um, it is a two layer. Yeah, I don't get jars here anymore either. These are old. Um, it's really hard to get them. So we're actually going to try to venture out to new places and try to find them. All right, so it's a two layer necklace, but it has like a snake head that you put that through. So that's actually pretty neat. I like that. Uh, we have this neck earring. And here's the other little cherub earring. Like I said, I've never seen a pair of earrings like that. I usually see these things. That's usually what I see. The little pins. Is there like three pairs of these? I feel like, oh, we got two pairs. The blue and then these greenish blue. And then this one, some more quartz. The earring that goes with that. A stick pin. Do people buy stick pins anymore or do they collect them? Or what do you do with these? Just kind of toss them, donate back. All right, so this has <clears throat> three charms on it. Uh, this one is Med Medigori, Gorge. This is St. Anthony. I pray to him all the time. And this is St. Jude. I don't know if this is real gold or not. It looks to me like it is. And I think it is. It's marked. 14 karat. Sylvan? Jivan? Something. So this is a 14 karat. St. Jude Thaddeus. Is St. Jude the, the patron saint of cancer? I feel like. Could be completely wrong. The necklace that it's on is sterling. I don't think either of these are sterling. But the, the charm is 14 karat. So we got a little gold. Oh my goodness, with these. All right, so this must go with all those bracelets. Do they collect the vintage stick pins? Maybe I'll just make a big lot of them. Um, this is all different types of stones, quartz. I don't know. And there is matching bracelets as well that go with this. And then on the end is this carved piece with the tassel. And of course, more tangles. If you guys are still with me, thanks for being here. This is not real. This is like pretty not real. Would have been great if it was. Not real, though. <clears throat> All right. So we got some silver tangles. We have a nice... Oh, uh, darn it. I can't think of your name. Suzette, is it? I have a heart, puffy heart charm for you that I picked up. And this is a nice, long sterling silver chain that I can clean up and put it on there. I'm going to have to send you Susan, Suzette, Suzette or Suzanne. Anyways, I'll have to send you a picture and I will clean this up if you like them. Uh, this is pretty with the little hearts and it is tangled, of 
course, because you know. <clears throat> Comes with the territory with these. And let's see. We are tangled up with a Claire special. And I was able to untangle that somewhat. I'm not gonna untangle it fully. It's just a little cheapy guy. This one is, let's see if it's marked. It's marked inside. This is a pretty chain. Let me. It's a very pretty chain. And then it is marked inside up here. I wonder if the heart's marked. The heart's marked too. Um, let's see. It's actually got... It says 90. And... <clears throat> NS? MS? It's very hard to read. It's very. Um, M9? I'm not sure. But it is sterling. Very pretty. Light. Pretty though. Um, oh, I didn't even see this one fell to the side. This is. Mark Sterling. This is a nice chain. I really like this one. This is one of them diamond cut chains. And this is marked Sterling. This is not marked. This is just a cheap -er necklace. Double checking because <laughs> it kind of looks like it might be, but <clears throat> um, we got some more liquid silver. Do need to do a actually this isn't silver. <clears throat> this one is sorry. This is really pretty. And then we have this tank tangle. Um, this is not liquid silver. This is all kinds of not it. <laughs> um, so we have this pair of earrings. We have this piece that is 925 sterling. This. have this piece that says patent I don't know what that says I thought it said patent pending but <clears throat> manfo I don't know anyways looks like this May or may not be silver, but then, I don't know. I'll have to check that. This is not liquid silver. It's almost like copper. This is in pretty bad condition, so we will put that in the other lot that she can use the turquoise beads. 
this is pretty bad too. This is, well, let's see. Yeah, this is all kinds of tarnished. This is not marked. This is not marked either. Very 90s. <laughs> Again, tarnishy. Not great. This is pretty. It's just a heart charm. This is, I believe, rose quartz. Somebody else's hair. Gross. <laughs> um, this is rose quartz. This is Leah Sophia. An earring. <clears throat> this is 925 S925 so that's a toss up it could be it could not be I've had S925 that was real and S925 that was not real so it would have to be tested these are sterling those are different yes we felt the earthquake quake. <laughs> it woke me up. My husband was already up. It woke me up. It was like 6.15 in the morning. Me and Miss Coco woke up. We thought, I thought a garbage truck hit our house. And my husband thought the chimney fell off the roof. <laughs> so he ran outside to see if the chimney had fallen. And I checked Twitter because that's, that's my first go-to when anything goes wrong. <laughs> and, um... Within a couple of minutes, they were saying it was an earthquake. But I cannot even begin to fathom. Yeah. These are marked AE. They're 925. I don't know if that's somebody's initials or what. But they are marked 925. Yeah, I can't imagine what Turkey is going through. Especially because that happened when they were sleeping. Um just unfathomable this is marked this weird looking ring it's marked on the outside and we're getting to the end of the jar it's almost an hour these jars take a while <laughs> Um, this is just a costume piece, but it's actually in really good condition. Uh, looks brand new. Yeah, well, it's just so sad. <clears throat> Brown leather with these little dangly pieces. Almost reminds me of, like, Chico's brand. This is Brighton bracelet. A little tarnished in spots. But that's Brighton. This is just a stretchy bracelet in multicolors. I think I already showed you that. This is Chico's. This reminds me of what that other one is. Pretty though. So yeah, if you get a chance, uh, check out my Instagram. If not, I will be posting it on Reels right after this video. Um, I got a really cool find today. Probably one of the best so far. This is just Mark China. 
This is it says reach for the stars. Just a little costume piece. And then these are all the earrings that match the other one. These earrings. These sterling Beverly Hills Silver 925. I don't see the other one to this, though. I have never seen that stamp either. Hold on. Beverly Hills Silver 925. And last but not least is this piece that is marked. It is marked ESPO, ESPO 925 Cubic Zirconia. It's really pretty. And that's it. Just some, a lot of these pieces don't have matches, but that's okay. Let me back up out of here. We got a pile to give to my girl that buys stuff like that. We have a pile for consignment and my garage sale. And then we have the pile, besides this guy, of silver, one piece of gold. And then we have my keep pile. And we never found this earring, so that's that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, I appreciate every one of you. And I will be back with more videos. So if you have time, give me a like, give me a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.